King Charles used a celebratory moment in Prince Harry's life to drag him back to the harsh reality he had created. This week, Prince Harry shared a significant piece of news that put King Charles, Prince William, Princess Catherine, and other members of the royal family in an uncomfortable and almost unwinnable situation. After a fierce competition, it was revealed that the Invictus Games would be back in the UK. Birmingham will host the Invictus Games in 2027. The British government unveiled a $33 million proposal to capture the games created for wounded, injured, and sick military personnel and veterans. In a happy statement, the Duke of Sussex congratulated the British city on winning the bid to host the tournament. It will be the first time the games will be on British soil since the inaugural event in London in 2014. The return of the games in England implies that Prince Harry, his wife Meghan Markle, and possibly their children, Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet, will be in attendance. The same week, King Charles released the review of the Crown Estate and the Sovereign Grant. The documents revealed that the Crown Estate had generated profits of £1.1 billion, or $1.4 billion, thanks to its massive portfolio of land, properties, and farms. At the annual Sovereign Grant briefing, Buckingham Palace officials spoke about some of the Crown Estate's properties, specifically Frogmore Cottage. This home formerly belonged to Prince Harry and Meghan Markle. Officials revealed it was empty a year after the pair had been evicted from the home. The officials on behalf of King Charles took a swipe at Prince Harry and Markle by saying there is no going back. The royal aides made it clear that Prince Harry and Markle will not be welcomed back to the cottage even if they are in London for a long period of time. The officials said, during the year, Frogmore Cottage has remained empty. I don't think, at this point, I would speculate on who will be the future occupants of the cottage. The sovereign grant has been fully reimbursed for the refurbishment costs of Frogmore Cottage when it was initially provided to the Duke and Duchess of Sussex and, therefore, there is no cost to the sovereign grant other than some routine maintenance, but it would be required for any of the buildings. There is no going back for the Sussexes.